Hey, Electric Crew here. So this old guy got himself a Steam Deck. And I'm looking at all the other docks out there. And my question is, how come no one's talking about the dock that I found? Um, oh yeah, it was kind of funny. Somebody commented on the crickets in the background out here. <laughs> in one of the videos but there are a number of docks out there and people are doing all kind of things with their steam deck and myself I have uh, a collection of like 120 old DOS games that I've collected up through my whole lifetime here um, you can see what I did on one of my other videos and how I set that up in DOS box with uh, quick menu 3 a DOS menu program but you can't really do that with the Steam Dock because on a PC, besides a joystick, you also have the keyboard always available. So you want to pick up the Steam Dock and just play. And, and that virtual keyboard sometimes is a pain, so you really want to map the controls for each game. So each game or set of games, I've been mapping the controls to it. But anyway, let's get back to the dock business. I found this and this is pretty neat now it's made has the uh, I gear it on it um, now that is there are a number of I saw a couple different ma manufacturers that have this stamped on so obviously someone's making it for them but what you get is a nice size keyboard with the F keys, which one thing I hate about the virtual keyboard doesn't have any F keys, but it also has a great built-in dock on it. If you look in the back, what you have is you have a 100 watt power delivery port and also you have the connection where you'd run to your laptop or in this case plug it into the Steam Deck, a VGA port, HDMI, wired internet, a couple uh, memory card slots, and and three USB 3.0 5 gigabyte transfer <coughs> connections there, and also an audio connection. But I thought this was pretty neat because I'd rather have something like this with the keyboard in case you need to do some special configurations that require a lot of typing or in my case entering in all the uh, specs to run those old DOS programs through DOS box and changing all the config files it makes it handy to have all this on one keyboard plug your dock in you go away boom right right to do whatever you need to do on your little old uh, Steam Deck and also to power all this because deck you know comes with that 45 watt supply so you need something a little stronger now if you want to plug in an external hard drive you want to run this in desktop mode you maybe you want to back up your whole system into an external hard drive or whatever you have you can do that but you also will need a bigger power supply and I'm sure everybody's aware of all the different ones that are out there I bought this one it's uh, I am UTO. Well, it's going backwards here. Hold on a minute. That's because the way I'm holding it up here, a little bit of reverse there. But anyway, it's a nice little adapter. The dang thing's heavier than any adapter I've ever had. Has the uh, cord on it, but also has two ports, USB-C ports. You can either draw 45 watts. Out of each one separately together or 90 watts out of one so which works great in the instance to run this dock with any devices you have to plug in that you might want to use with your Steam Deck whether it be some memory cards whether it be some USB external hard drives whatever you want and I did notice when I first plugged this into my Steam Deck. I had the deck on and of course your your power from the uh, power supply your PS this is one of those uh, power PD power delivery power supplies 
and it would plug in here then this one will go to the Steam Deck but I did notice right away that the uh, USB port worked because I plugged a mouse into it and the keyboard wasn't functioning on this so what I did realize that you should probably not plug things in hot it's probably a, just a wise idea when your Steam Deck is turned on so actually rebooted the Steam Deck and then everything was there the keyboard was there the memory slots worked so best device for that is if you're plugging in a, any type of dock to your deck that has something like this power down your deck before you do that because you never know what surges or when, when you're plugging in a device other than uh, just a straight power supply because the, all the docks have circuitry in them so it makes sense just to power the deck off before you plug that in but this thing will charge your deck you said it has uh, 100 watt capability out of this port you don't need that much for your deck because it only comes with a 45 watt supply I don't know whether what effect that would have on charging up the battery I imagine that the software in the deck throttles it to what it needs to be but all in all I think this is a pretty neat little device and it's the dock I would have and so it doesn't have a stand whoopee if you need your deck in a stand you're not going to be looking at the screen on your deck anyway when you're plugged into this you're going to be looking at an external monitor or if you don't use an external monitor you can get a, any type of stand that sits the deck up and actually the retail cost for this is around a hundred dollars but over on Amazon it was on sale for like $78 plus there was a 35 coupon on top of that so I got it like for 40 47 48 dollars on Amazon and this this is manufactured by Garrett I think there's uh, Q E U U M Queen or something another manufacturer name it's whoever's branding it I guess but all these are made in China of course but other than that it's a nice little hub works good I checked all the features out on it and everything works on it so enjoy your deck play around with it maybe I'll do another video on how I set up DOS box and all those DOS games I have one at a time I've been doing that as I get time so have a good day